That was pretty good and good, guys. Welcome back to Silent Hill 4. <laughs> now we're going to explore the underground rooms. He got, hasn't eaten in five days. I got to tell the landlord about this hole. <laughs> He's going to get pissed. <laughs> what if a giant cock comes out of it? Gross. <laughs> it's Walters. The Omega Glory Hole. Check out the symbolism here. Uh -huh. Light at the end of the tunnel. No, that's one, that's one part of the symbolism. Baby coming out of a... Uh, yeah. Bingo. Okay. Baby birth. We can't move backward either. You can't look behind you either. Well, yeah, it's really this hard to turn This looks like an FMV. It does, but I'm holding up. Oh, okay. Head toward the TV static. <laughs> Do you see a light, my son? Yes. Yeah, yeah it is too Walk fucking bright. Can you, turn, it. Can, you t can you, like, bring it down? No. Well, damn. <laughs> and like that, we enter World 1. Wrong one. Underground. Oh, I thought you were going to get Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Who's singing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, like, since Matt had uh, had two, three, and currently four, and you were taking Origins as well, right? I may as well. So for me, I had shattered memory, so I'm gonna have homecoming, Ugh. downpour. Ugh. So you seem to be one of uh, focus on the spinoffs. It sounds like. No, well technically they they are part of the series. Oh, okay. But they're not spinoffs. The only spinoff I'd say we had would be the play novel for the GBA. Right. Play novel for the GBA. It was released exclusively in Japan. Oh, okay. What shall we do? Yeah, we, like, we just might as well do the first game. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Your map is automatically drawn as you go on. Okay. Fresh triangle, fresh triangle to see it once, triangle again to see the memos, circle to get out of them. And that uh, looks like the lady we saw outside. Where'd the stick come from? Hmm? Where'd the stick come from? Steel that pipe. was a steel pipe we yanked out of the wall. Yeah. Did you got the this? Elizabeth, right? No. Cynthia. Oh. Sounds exactly like a guy who's talking to a woman for the first time in five days. <laughs> what's your power level? <laughs> what's your what's your uh, Zor uh, Zoral Astrian sign? Zodiac. Zodiac. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have been <laughs> up for like five, five days. days yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> what's your Zodiac sign? <laughs> what's your what's sign? What's your Exodia? <laughs> what's your Exodia? <laughs> what's your Exodia? <laughs> hey, Konami. Well, All right, Geki, you're a black hole. Oh God. <laughs> That just don't know how to talk to women, do you? It's been five days. What's your exodia? <laughs> Good thing that's a no. Will you help me find it? Quite the temptress. I'm kind of scared all alone. Henry feels so funny. He, Henry feels funny in his pants, and he doesn't know how to process it. It's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. The only way we ever find out how she ties into the whole thing is another Crimson Tone, which is in Silent Hill 4. Uh, I thought there was something uh, back there. Wait. Right. Th oh, that is just a light. Those are lights. I know. I like they fucked me up too on my review through this one. I was like, oh, wait, chef. You have to look something you can pick up or something. Or at least examine. Yeah. Because, like, you, uh, Silent Hill 2, you're able to see their heads turn so that you can, so that you're like, oh, you can pick this up. So, yeah, we're in a subway. <laughs> Yeah, given. Very derelict, though. Wait a minute. And she's already feeling suck. We just got here, Cynthia. I think I'm gonna puke. I saw Henry was like, "You can do it. Don't fuss out. <laughs> Not in front of me, please." <laughs> I'm gonna get queasy. I can't go in there. It's the ladies' room. <laughs> Cynthia, Cynthia, wait. That's the men's room. Yeah. I can't go in there. I'm powerless in there. <laughs> <laughs> At least Henry has good manners. Yeah, it's not even bad. It's not even restroom. It's just toilet. Yeah. 
Okay, you, okay, you, Enrique. <laughs> you, it was like you go, you go, or it's like you go, you go to England. And it's like Lou. <laughs> FTCR. <laughs> Damn. Shots fired. <laughs> See what we mean by stock sounds? Did she puke that? No. Oh my god, what did you eat? <laughs> How did you do that? That Mazel looks tough. It's triplets. <laughs> These are our first enemies of the game. The suckers. Huh. Suckers. <laughs> so long, suckers. Drinking the blood? Yep. yep. Jinx. Fucker. No, <laughs> suckers. Oh, damn it. Well, now, combat in this game is melee focused. And wonky. Looks like a perfectly normal day in the subway to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we know. Oh. Oh. The this, this sounds are very stock. Very stock. You know what I, hold on. Let me swing at it again. Let me hear those sound effects again. Because I think I know exactly where now, I'm from. Now, the... The uh, circle right there, that's your charge meter. Right. So it's pretty much how, how heavy you hit. But once she goes down, one good boot will do it in. Yeah. <clears throat> you always have to put your foot down on it or they will come back after, up after you again. Yep. Put your foot down on the issue. Exactly. See, the you heard that? Must come down. You heard that tiger? Yeah. And that that's a that's a jaguar, it sounds it's like. It's a jaguar. Yeah, so it's, it's a cougar lion jaguar. Cougar jaguar? Lauger or something like that. Also, this, it, the shrieks it made Lyauger. beforehand are also the same fucking sound effects the Iblis monsters make in Sonic 06. Right. The uh, Lyogre. There you go. The Lyogre? L-I-O-U-G-A-R. Okay. Swing in here to the toilets. Wait, what? I don't need to use this now. Yeah, you probably already went in your pants. <laughs> Thanks for that, Henry. Henry comes up with some weird little prompts. It looks like no one's in there. Yeah, no shit no one's in there. No one's in here either. Why am I in here? I don't need to be here. <laughs> now it's not the time for that kind of thing. All right, so where's Cynthia? Cynthia, put your cats on a leash. Oh. Cynthia bailed. But there's another hole. That's not a hole. Did she just escape via toilet? No. <laughs> Teleport toilets. <laughs> yeah, that's a hole, Matt. <laughs> I know. Let's head on a hole. Now, this is this is also to t teach you this mechanic of the game. You have to go through this, otherwise you don't trigger the event flag. Ah! Backwards. We'll go yeah, back into the room. You're getting pooped. Getting pooped. Gross. Yeah. Boy, I'm pooped. <laughs> you are pooped because every single time you go back through the hole, you wake up in your bed. Oh, so you're back man. in the room. Yeah. Okay. What so that okay, so that in a way that's this game is kind of broken up into levels. Then it sounds like. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you enter the hole and go to a separate area, and then you always leave by entering another hole back into the room. But then when you when you're ready to go back into those worlds, you yeah. just re-enter the hole and you're back at the hole you came out of. Another dream. So it's like level-based progression in a way. Yeah, this game, like I said, this game does a lot different. But it seems so real. I talked to a woman. Could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Remember, five days without sleep and all this wacky shit going on. Believe what you want to believe at this point, Slim. That's just stupid. <laughs> what am I thinking? A girl talked to me. What am I thinking? <laughs> In my dreams. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, Robert Belgrade's in this game. Whoa, who's your voice? Uh, he's another character that comes up later in the game, okay. so I'd rather not say it Well, yet. he was probably cheap, so. You know, Michael G. Michael G. Get uh, Michael G. You got Michael G. You know, <laughs> I, I wish I never knew that he was the voice of Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Which Dracula? Uh, Symphony of the Night Dracula. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's also, what, Harry Mason? Yeah. Yeah, in uh, Sound Hill 1. Yeah. Christ. It all comes together. <laughs> now, every time you come back here, you're free to look out the eye pole. Maybe you get, like, another scene or something like that. It's called a peephole. Whatever you say. Like. And sometimes you'll see new scenes. Sometimes you won't. So, uh, my question now, the door is barred, like, with the gates and that. Is, I mean, obviously, the game, the, uh, the answer is no from, from a gameplay perspective. But in story, is it possible for him to remove those changes? It's a very bad idea to do so. Uh, no, you can't remove the chains. So they're just, like, like he's, sealed. Yeah, he's stuck here. Yeah. There's a message carved in here. The faint oob I had is changing to despair. Oh, Damn. I somehow managed to tunnel this far, but I can't get any further. The hallway, windows, and walls. It's like the room is stuck in another dimension. Yeah? Eileen never noticed. <laughs> well, you put it that way. And meanwhile, I get a pistol. 
It's got some decent stopping power, but the dig again, another one of the stupid decisions. The bullets don't stack. You find ten bullets, you gotta find another ten bullets, and another ten bullets, and another ten bullets. Oh, okay. And they take up each take yes. up a different inventory spot. Yes. Uh damn. Boneheaded decision. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Like I said, monumentally great story, monumentally stupid boneheaded moves. Voyeurism is kind of a little bit of a thing they got going on here. Voyeurism? Yeah. She's never, oh, okay. she's never naked or anything like that. You'll never see anything. But it's like the desire to reach out to another person after five days of isolation is really big for Henry at this point. Huh. There it is. Oh. 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 Bunny. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the bunny. Yeah, Robbie. Robbie the rabbit. Mm -hmm. Hey, my phone. Just a minute. Is that my dominoes? I hope it is. Sweet. Your Uber's here. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, save me. Oh, it's Cynthia. There's, token. There's one here. But well, where's here? If new phone, who does? No. <laughs> Henry's, Henry's a pump and dumper. <laughs> pump and dump. Pump and dump. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've never heard of that before. The hell? You've never heard of pump and dump? I've never heard of pump and dump, no. Because it sounds kind of It is gross. an asshole. It does sound kind of gross, not It's an asshole thing. So you like shitting on people. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> that's just her sweeping out in the hallway. Mm. I was looking for the broom earlier. I mean, well, let's store the... Uh, Glass bottle and move on. I thought that was you making a fake elephant noise. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to do it again or you get an aneurysm. Get in there. Get in there, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time for that kind of thing. Fergus toilets for when it is time for that kind of thing. <laughs> in we go. It's you don't have like to go through the... Um, you don't have to sit through the animation twice, though. Is it like a recurring joke in every Sun Hook Game Pass 2 about Toilets? putting your hand in the toilet? Yeah. Yeah. I'm honestly kind of torn on whether or not, you know, they want to just keep bringing that up or if it's like, you know, hey, we're going to make keep making fun of the dumbass who thought that was a fun thing to do in Silent Hill 2. I still think Silent Hill 3 was the best gag. Oh. Oh. Of course. oh. It's a mannequin. Um, it has a coin in the hand. Okay. Those are the street line coins. You need these to get to wherever you need to get to in the um, subway station. Meanwhile, we're going to enjoy a piss, and we're going to see you guys next time. See you then.